Happy Tuesday, you guys. This is Shantara, and I'm coming back to you guys with another little quick video. Just want to talk. I'm folding clothes, doing laundry, and getting on top of TJ because he's mannish and... But I wanted to say I hope that you guys are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith, you guys. It is Tuesday. I think it's like February. Oh, it's the 11th because TJ got a heart doctor's appointment tomorrow. We went and saw the urinary specialist yesterday. They took a look at him and they said that the steroid cream that the doctor prescribed about eight weeks ago six weeks ago um is actually doing his job and with all his other health concerns say hey y'all with all his other health concerns he want to be in the camera so bad watch your show with all his other health concerns in his heart or whatever they said that it's not it's not unless it begins to cause him more issues penis swelling you know skin not retracting and all those other things or other issues that may, can arise if that's not going on they do not want to put him under they do not want to circumcise because of his heart only if it's just something that i really really want to do and at this point with everything that i got going on on my plate i told him if it's not necessary and if this is something that is curing itself and it's it's getting better then i'm all for it one less thing that i have to do or worry about so his appointment yesterday went actually good. He said it's working itself out. I don't even have to use the steroid cream anymore. I can if I choose to, but it's actually working itself out and showed me and taught me, you know, just how to pull it back and how to clean it when he's taking a bath or whatever. So I just thank God for that. And um, I thank God for good news that we're going to hear tomorrow. He has to go see his cardiologist for his three-month checkup. You know, they're just keeping an eye on his heart and how long we have before you know something else or like another intervention that we're going to have to have in order for him to you know just continue to be strong and live and strive so we got that tomorrow and um you know as far as the kids outside y'all we just don't went completely quiet i told diana we're not going to discuss it anymore the people want you know as far as court systems and all that they need more proof i mean we have case numbers we have paperwork we have police reports but they want videos and because i'm like come on now what else can you do so today i'm going to call the juvenile courts and call the juvenile and see what we can do because at this point it's boiling over to the point to where it's really getting out of hand and out of control i'm outside waiting on my daughter to come across the street from the bus their mom is in the car with a couple of other people at the end of the street waiting on their child and i'm getting called all kind of fat bitches yesterday waiting on my daughter i didn't say not one word did not cross my garage did not cross the end and at this point i will not cross my yard my kids are not outside and i just i've, I've went completely silent there's nothing to say and i know for a fact if i heard them calling me all kind of fat bitches, fat this, fat that, take your A in the house, take your M F A in the house, you no good this, you no good that. I know she heard it. I didn't say one word. As long as my baby get off that bus and she's okay to get, walk that 20, 30 steps, I'm fine. Not worried about it. So what I did this morning, walked outside this morning, just checking, making sure the kids are fine. Did not say one word. Did not say one word because at this point, it's to the point to where something is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Something is going to happen. Whatever. Something is going to happen. So, stop it. So, I told my daughter, just completely be quiet. Ignore them. She said two of the kids tried to come up to her and apologize. They've apologized to me before. They've apologized to you before. I told her, these are the type of kids. Look at my wig back there. These are the type of kids that you can't even befriend. You know what I'm saying? You can't even befriend. Don't even let them apologize to you. Don't say nothing to them at all, period. Just completely ignore them. Completely ignore them. So my sister went up there yesterday because I had to deal with the baby. Just trying to get names and all of this stuff because it's still going on. If the cops, one of the kids, so I recorded one of the kids today because I'm outside 
watching the kids, making sure that they get on the bus safe, that there's nothing extra going on because it's a big group of them. And once they get in that big group, it's just, it's hell, hell fury. You know what I mean? So they see me, hello, can I help you? Fat bitch, go in the house. Whoa, 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 we don't need you. Why is your mama out here? Fat B, fat B, go in the house, fat B. So I just put out my phone. I just started recording. I'm going to take the recording up there, send it to the lady, and just let her know, look, this is the little boy right here. This is the one who called me all kind of heavy. It don't got nothing to do with me. It was them. He wasn't out here when the police came, but I'm pretty sure all the kids told him, let him know what was going on. So now he's in a part of it, calling me all out of my name, fat B, fat this, fat that. Okay, it's nothing. So I put him on record. I'm just going to take it down to the school after I take a shower, get dressed. I'm like, Lord, you're going to have to fight my battles because... I'm waiting on the landlord to call me back. I talked to her yesterday. So they're trying to figure out what's the next step for me to move and get the hell up out of here. So, you know, and I'm just like, and I've even been on top of TJ. TJ is mannish. He is very, very spoiled. He is very, very spoiled. TJ is very, very spoiled. And I think it's just because of, you know, his history and being in the NICU for so long. And so we have like this soft spot for him and what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? His little special needs, but he's managed. He gets away with a lot. And all what I'm dealing with, I have cracked down on this little boy. Like when I tell you something, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And there is no second, third, and fourth chances. Because if you are going to be anything like these kids outside, come on now. You are not going to be nothing like these kids outside. And if you choose to grow up, because we all have choices. If you choose to grow up and be anything like these managed heathens outside, you're going to have to get yourself and get up out of my house. And that goes for any child up in here. So I've been cracking down on him, cracking down on the girls. Keep your room clean. Get this stuff picked up. No, we need order in this house on top of everything else we got going on. I cannot deal. I'm falling apart at the seams. I'm shaking. I'm jittery. My stomach is messed up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to the bathroom a lot. I am under a lot of stress. I'm under a lot of stress. My heart, I'm having heart palpitations. I know that the Lord is going to bring me out. You know what I'm saying? I know. So this morning, I am just saturating myself in gospel music. I read my word yesterday, and I'm just like, Lord, with all this toxicity going on, I'm going to just need you to keep me. Fight my battles deal with these kids, you know what I'm saying? And then they gave my my dark my sister a packet about bullying, how to deal with bullying, the signs to watch out for um for a child who's being bullied. And it's like 6 to 7. It's about let me go get it. We talking anyway. I'm recording on my phone cuz I got to take my laptop down here so we can clean it up and do all this stuff. But they gave her a packet because my baby has been acting different. She has. She's not She's not the same. Where's the packet? She's not the same. She's not the same. Dealing with bullying, y'all. This is the packet they gave. Look, learn, and listen. The many faces of bullying. Detecting bullying. Cyber bullying. Positive solutions. Ain't no positive solutions when you got kids like this. When you got parents like this. And my thing is, I know for a fact these kids done went to their mom and said, oh, she, what is that on my hat? Oh, she cussed us out. Oh, she be messing with us. Oh, she be talking to us and we kids and we this and we that. So your mom them feel a certain type of way. From what I saw yesterday, you write, you're writing and you believe what your kids are telling you, not knowing your kids are absolutely horrible, disgusting. They do not respect authority. They've had trouble with all the other neighbors. I didn't call the police the other day. The neighbors did because at this point, I've already said what I had to say. I'm not dealing with no kids. I got my own kids and my own issues. I don't have time for that. And so it's how my what bullying looks like, the role of families, the warning signs, children who are bullied. And I'm like, okay, what the hell is a positive, positive solutions? Okay, bullies, they're more likely to engage in drug abuse, physical emotion, receive poor grades, skip classes. They done already said that the kids that we're talking about are trouble kids at school. So they already know. You know what I'm saying? They're trouble kids at school. And so it gives you toward the end. And I'm like, okay. You're talking about all this, but what the hell are we talking about? What are we going to do about the kids who are bullying? 
You know what I mean? Like, what are we going to do? You done gave me this whole packet about signs and what's, I see all the signs in my child. I know everything. She's acting different. She's not the same. And even in the video that I recorded, it's a big old pack of group of kids. And then you got my daughter standing off about maybe two feet away from the kids, completely separated. You know what I'm saying? Like, can you imagine dealing with that every day? Not feeling like, I mean, you don't need to be a part of the clique, but come on now. They're just that unruly. So there's physical signs, unexplained scratches, damage. And this is what is, I'm reading off of right here. Okay. So the warning signs of bullying, right? And these are signs that, you know, you can check out or look if you see your child acting different. Unexplained scratches, bruises, or, or injuries, damage or missing books, changes in eating habits such as skipping meals or binge eating. She's not really eating what I'm cooking. She'll have like snacks and she's eating like a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Like she will have some stuff, but <clears throat> her eating habits have changed. <clears throat> Developmental regression such as wetting the bed. No, she doesn't have that. Changes in sleep pattern or difficulty um, sleeping, frequent nightmares. No, she's fine still with her sleeping, but she does have headaches, like I told you. Frequent headaches or stomach aches. Yes, she has that. Unusual quietness and withdrawal. She's experiencing that. Sudden stammering or stuttering. Yes, she's experiencing that. Fear of attending school or normal activities. No, she said that she can go to school. Today she told me she's okay with catching the bus. And I'm like, okay, I'll just watch. Keep an eye out and I won't say anything. I'll just keep an eye out and we'll keep reporting until either something happens or we move. Because that's what I'm working on. Mood swings, crying, or unusual displays of anger. Yes, she has that. She's more short-tempered. She's crying more. You know what I'm saying? And she's angry. She's frustrated. Drastic change in appearance. No. Sudden onset of self-destructive behavior such as running away. No. Preoccupation with death or die or suicide. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the nine on here, six of the nine on here being bullied, six of the nine signs. And they give you this whole little packet, what to look for, what to, okay. So what you going to do? And it just tells you what to do, how to stay pop. It's a mess. It's a mess. When you got kids like this, unruly, there's nothing you can do. So I said, okay, Lord, I'm just going to go silent. And I'm going to ask that you fight my battles because I see that the parents are on the kid's side, you know, and I get that. But I told Deanna, right is right and wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? If this was you guys and you were out there at people's door and sending your friends to somebody's door and this and that or the other and a grown up or something whoop your ass because you being disrespectful and you trespassing, you doing all that, you're going to come home and you're going to get this, you're going to get your butt whooped by me. You're going to catch two ass whoopings. You're going to get one from that adult and you're going to get one from me because right is right and wrong is wrong. You're not going to be out here doing all of that. You're not. You're not, and, and not ex expect nothing to come back to you. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> back up, go and finish watching your show, and stop it. No, I'm not dealing, okay? But I just wanted to say, y'all, today, I'm going to continue to do what I need to do. Yes, I'm under immense stress. Yes, I'm under immense pressure. Yes, I'm starting to feel it in my body, in the physical sense. All of that. God is still good. This is just a part of life. You know what I'm saying? It's a part of life. God is good. He's going to bring me out. <laughs> Believe that. Me and my kids. We prayed. We prayed over our family. There's some things going on in my family as well with my nieces. And we're just... When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. But I tell you one thing, it cannot rain forever. It cannot rain forever. The rain will subside and the sun will shine again. And whether that be them pushing me out into the house that I need on a single level so I can really parent my kids because it's hard to do that with these stairs and on a second level. So I can be more involved. But whatever, 
it may be. You know, God is going to work it out in my favor. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to show them this video of this little boy who called me all out of my name. And if I got, I got it every morning, every morning. So this is what it's going to be every morning. Every morning. Can I help you? I'm in my own yard. I haven't said one word. Silent. Because at this point, I know what I'm going to do. So I'm not, I'm not going into it. I'm not saying nothing because I know where I am at this point. I see your parents. I see where they are. And it's, it's, it's just, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. And I got my kids. I got my special needs son. We got things that we here dealing with. So if it don't have to go there, pray to God it won't because God is on my side and he going to work this thing out. But it's, 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 get, it, it, yeah, it done boiled over and it continues to happen. It happened again today. It happened when I got, she got out of school yesterday. Your mama's standing right there. She don't hear you. Just off the bus, yelling, screaming, cussing, calling me all out my name. I haven't said one word. I didn't even think to record it, but I will every time. Today, when I, she get off the bus, I'm going to have my phone on record just so they can hear and see. Harassment, taunting. Yes, these kids need to be, somebody need to come prosecute. They need to come do something. While I work on getting us out of here. Because they can't go outside. This would be week two. They're not allowed outside. You can go in your garage. You can go in my garage. But other than that, no. And as long as they don't step foot right here, we're fine. You can say whatever you want to say. Freedom of speech. But it's harassment. It's bullying. So. But I wanted to say God is good. He is. Do not touch that. You want water? God is good. Yes, it's even more exhausting having to be on top of TJ like this, but no, you got to raise and parent your kid and make sure that, you know what I'm saying, that they're going in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? And then to just let these kids do whatever, be whatever. And at this point, don't know parents need to talk. We don't need to discuss nothing. We don't because I already see where it is. I already see where it is. I already see how it's going. I already see everything. So, you know, it's it's just. It's just best to leave it alone. It's just best to leave it alone. But um, he's going to work it out. I am still yet encouraged, even, even in what I'm going through. I'm encouraged. You know, God is good. I got a little bit of energy today. I went to bed early. I have not been asleep in weeks. Went to bed early with the kids last night, and I had a wonderful night's sleep. Thanks. All glory be to God. We woke up, me and the kids had a good morning. We prayed over our day. We prayed, we prayed, we prayed, Lord, fight our battles. And today I just asked the prayer that I prayed today with the girls mainly. I said, Lord, restore the peace. Your word says when I was reading my Bible yesterday, you will restore the peace. Restore the peace. Restore the peace in my home. Restore the peace in this neighborhood. Restore the peace in our minds. Restore the peace in our hearts. Restore my baby no he will not leave my side <laughs> i love you he will not leave my side he know he feels he loves his mom restore the peace i don't even think they can hear let me finish this video up restore the peace restore the peace dear lord as you said in your word we blessed our day i declare today is going to be a great and wonderful victorious day I pray that you guys, despite what you're going through, stay focused, stay determined, do whatever you have to do to get through it, stay positive, and know that the battle is already won. Jesus is on our side. He's on our side. He's on our side. He's on our side. He's on our side. On our side. And it's just a reflection of me and what I need to do better as a parent, how I need to parent even more with my kids, be more on top of my kids, and you know, just, just learning and growing. That's all what it's about. Just learning and growing. I'm on top of my kids even more now. Like, come on now. Nah, nah, bro. We ain't doing that. We're not doing that even if you're thinking about doing it. So, I got to be on top of him. I'm on top of his butt. Mm-mm. You're going to listen first time around. Because I be damned. But God is good. He truly, truly is. I just wanted to kind of update y'all a little bit. I got some things to do and take care of as far as on this end and moving and making phone calls and all that stuff. But God is going to see fit. I can't wait. I'm excited. <sighs> I'm just getting through what I got to get through. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, y'all. Victory is in Jesus. 
Victory is in Jesus. Keep pressing, keep pushing. Me and my kids were making it. And it is what it is. So happy, happy Tuesday. God bless you. Know that the weapons are formed, but they will not prosper in Jesus' holy, mighty name. It will not prosper, my loves. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. If you got to say it a thousand times over and over, God is good. It will not prosper. Satan, I rebuke you. You have no place here. You have no place with my children. Everything is restored. I'm praying over my kids. I'm praying over my kids. I'm praying for Deanna. You guys keep my kids lifted up in prayer, please. That the Lord restores her joy, her peace. In Jesus' holy name, I know he will. It's just a process. So, you guys have a blessed and happy Tuesday. We got a few things going on coming up these next couple of days. Um, keep pressing. Keep pressing. Keep going. I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me. Until the next time, inspired, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.